Hey everyone, this is Beepo 6 and A. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this review. Uh, this is going to be a knife review on the on the SOG Micron 1. Um, SOG does make a Micron 2, but just to clarify, this is a Micron 1. Um, the Micron 2 is slightly, it has a slightly longer blade, and it, I believe it has a, a back locking, uh, locking mechanism. But this is the, uh, the Micron 1. I thought I'd set this off by uh, telling you a little bit of backstory about how I got this knife. Um, I actually won it from SOG in a, uh, it was a fan photo contest on their Facebook page, uh, back in October. And, um, the winner, uh, wins a, a free Micron. Um, yeah, my, my photo was of, uh, it was of a, uh, uh, yeah, excuse me, it was of a, um, a Pentagon Elite SOG knife, which was my friend's brother's and a 38 revolver, and, um, yeah, out in the woods. So, they, they ended up sending me, uh, this for free, and... I'm actually really, really uh, happy about it because this knife, despite its small size, and which I'll get into in the technical uh, specs part of this, um, has really served me well, and it's a great little knife, uh, and I'd recommend it to anyone to actually pay for it, and I'm lucky I got it for free. All right, so let's get into the specs of this thing. It's um, just under four inches long, open, at uh, 3.88 inches, uh, closed. It's I think it's 1.88 inches, so there, obviously the difference there. Um, the blade length is one and a half inches long, so you know compared to your finger, the blade is. Oh, whoops, sorry guys. The blade itself about half the size of your pinky finger, and the whole thing unfolded is just a little bit longer than your pinky finger. So it is a really small knife. Um, it's very light though because of this. I think it it weighs um, half an ounce, so I wear it on a necklace. And if I didn't have the uh, the forty caliber bullet on the necklace, I probably wouldn't be able to feel my necklace because it's only half an ounce. It's extremely light, extremely portable. Um, it, it, the coating is not, uh, tie -nye. it's just a, they call it a, a, um, they call it a hard, a black hard case finish, so it's probably just some, like, Dura coating. I don't think it's paint, but it's not, you know, anything, um, super permanent. It will come off with wear. Actually, um, if you can see, if the camera wants to focus ever... The uh, the coating is kind of coming off there on the uh, contours of the grind, but you know I'm not worried about it. It's fine. Um, for for a little carry knife like this, a little neck knife, it really doesn't uh, matter. This isn't a locking knife. Uh, it's just got a slip joint. It's a slip joint knife, so it, it it's kind of held in place in the back by the slip joint. But with little effort, you can close it and open it. It does have a um, on the low light. Let's try and get it with a good shine. Made, they, they are made in China. It has a, a thumb a thumb groove on the left side of the blade from when you're from where you're holding it. And um, I don't even use the I don't have fingernails. But I can easily, just as easily just pinch the blade and open it with no problem. Uh, just a few other things, um, obviously it is a it's Tanto style so it's it's made for piercing and um, and, and stabbing. Um, it is a 420 stainless steel which is kind of a low quality steel especially compared to like a lot of other SOG knives are OS8 at least, you know, or so there are some three uh, CR steels 
that, that SOG uses, but this is 420, and this is the lowest steel that SOG uh, supplies, so it's very soft. Um, it's hardened to 51 to uh, 53 on the, on the hardness scale. So it's uh, about five less, I'm not even sure what the units are, but it's five less than like an OS-8 steel, so it's relatively soft. But this does mean that you can sharpen it to be um, razor sharp. I, I've recently sharpened this and it, it works great. Um, yeah, this is a little bit too thick and it's kind of sticky, so I shouldn't have used this, but take my word for it. it it's, uh, it's sharp. It performs the, the nail test very well. Um, what I use this for, uh, opening letters, opening boxes, cutting strings, um, it, it does all that extremely well. It's very sharp and it, it makes uh, those tasks super easy and uh, it's small enough to have it not be a hassle on you uh, unless you want to carry a, a bigger knife to open letters and such. You don't have to because this thing is so small and so light. Um, it will cut through tough denim. My friend the other day used it to to cut off uh, a piece of his jeans that were falling off, you know, the uh, down at the bottom where that seam where you step on it and it separates over time. He cut that whole thing off um, in a matter of seconds with this. It it chew it went right through the uh, the denim, and he he was surprised, uh, and I was happy he was surprised because I really like this knife and it's come in uh, pretty uh, pretty handy for me. The uh, the SOG Micron goes for $18 retail on SOG's website, but I'm sure you can find it for much cheaper on a Amazon or um, any other like knife uh, warehouse type online dealer. Um, and the, the Micron 2 goes for $25. I haven't used a Micron 2, but I'm sure it's just as good as these. Um, uh, yeah, overall... I'm super uh, happy I won this knife. It's worked out really well for me. It's been useful. It's light. It's easily, uh, it's got the, the lanyard hole, so I wear it on my necklace, not even worry about it. Um, uh, it's a great little knife. Some complaints. Um, I guess you could complain about the slip joint, but, you know, I don't. I have a problem with slip joints. Most of my cutting motion is going to be down anyway, so it should stay locked. Uh, one other thing there is, um, Slight gimping right there on the blade, right here. There you go. Yeah, there's slight uh, gimping right there on the blade, uh, so that helps put a little bit of pressure right there, but I don't put pressure on there because it is a... Um, this type of locking mechanism, so it, I, actually it, there is no locking mechanism, so I don't press on there uh, if I don't have to, but I can understand if it's, a, if it's a heavy cutting task you're trying to do with this, which I wouldn't recommend, but you could do it. Um, it would just help you push through, I guess. Yeah, so overall, great little knife. Um, thank you, SOG, for sending it to me. Uh, maybe someday I will get a hold of a Micron 2. Uh, I think that the Increased blade length and the lock are, are, are good additions to that as well. And um, yeah, it's highly recommended. It's been a great little knife and it's served me well. And I guarantee you that if you buy this, uh, you'll be just as pleased with it as I am.